Hello, Devani Alderson here with iCreateDaily.com. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate the Printful.com platform for custom print on demand apparel and merchandise, or another industry term for it is direct to garment printing. And I've done a video on Redbubble and we've done videos on some of the other popular print on demand platforms. And Printful is one that we use most often right now. And so I'm just going to show you some of the pros and cons of using their dashboard and their platform. So let's dive in. So this is the Printful home screen and I've already created a sort of dummy account so that you can see all the various features and um, how to use it and navigate it. So as you can see on their homepage, it's a lot like a landing page and it teaches you all the um, types of items that you can print. And of course you can see more. Um, for now, I'm just going to stick with the apparel design loading and editing because that is the biggest thing we're focusing on. We may come back and do other videos on different products that we try out. So for now, it's, I'm just focusing on apparel. So they have swimsuits, t-shirts, polos, hoodies, leggings, uh, they have tank tops as well, but it's not shown on this particular screen. They have a great how it works video. So anyway, they have a really nice uh, homepage and you will discover that with a lot of print on demand, their homepage looks great. And then you start diving in and you get into some of the kinks of the platform itself. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard. They have a good, easy navigating dashboard right there. And the first thing you notice is how do you design the t-shirts? So the file library, one of the things that I really like about Printful that some of the other programs do not provide is that they will say, Printful will save your files and design. So if you create something off of the Printful, like if you use Photoshop or Canva, or you hire a designer to create some digital images for you, you can upload them which is nice, and you can save them to use later. So I'm gonna upload. Yes, make sure you read. I would always make sure you read the agreements and terms and guidelines. So we've already done that. And now I'm going to pick one of our logos, our purple grape color I Create Daily Sun logo. So it's pretty easy and obviously the more designs you have, the more you can place in here and go through them. So that was easy. Now create new order. Oops. So right off the bat, it's a little bit confusing. Like you don't want to order a t-shirt. You just want to create a screen print order. So this implies that I must order the item as opposed to just creating a shop item. So we're going to poke around, stores. So you need to create your online storefront. And what is cool is that they, uh, that Printful does integrate with all these different platforms. They integrate with Shopify, with Etsy, WooCommerce, Squarespace, and then all these other, um, commerce stores that I'm not as familiar with. They do integrate with Amazon as well. And everything here. If you have your own plugin or something that you're using that's not a part of this, they have those eBay, other things, or you can manually do an order platform. So for now, I'm just gonna do this. This is on a store and this is just like a dummy store. This isn't, are there? So I've got Devani's store. Now I'm going to add a product. What would be great is if they had, instead of a new order, if they had create product right there, it would be a little less confusing, but you do have to create a storefront before doing this stuff. So add, adding first shop. So I really love their um, Bella, tank tops. They have a nice Bella tank top. It's a racerback. They have all sorts of apparel on here. They do have a pretty wide selection of types of things you can 
uh, print on. You can do all over shirts or you can just your standard t-shirt, which is just the sort of square template that they give that's standard for most apparel. For now, I'm just going to pick this Bella Canva. We really love the Bella Canva Try Blends. It's soft and we like soft clothing. It feels a lot better. It just, it's a higher quality fabric. And so they have a nice color selection here. You wanna go ahead and pick your colors and they'll pop up here. I already kind of know the colors that will go well with the design I'm loading, so I'm not picking all these other ones. Upload file. Now you can either drag and drop your file here or you can go to, oops, your file library. Hold up. I should actually already have one. Ah, okay. So you can create multiple file libraries. Choose. Awesome. Now we can, now this is not the all over printing. This is just the standard. Um, so you only have that square or rectangle there to print within. And you want to just move this. I think what I'll do is make this one smaller for the shoulder here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we want to print the same thing on the back. You'll be able to see the finished product on the article as well. So I'll have that loaded there that you can check out. Cool. And now we just want to make sure it looks good with all these different colors. And that color doesn't look amazing. This color's okay. Somebody might like it, so we'll keep it. Black, I obviously really like that. You want to make sure it looks good on the back too. I really like this white fleck. Feckle, fleckle, eh, sorry, can't talk. Uh, speckled white. They're calling it fleck tri blend. So, kind of confused me. This turquoise is nice, or aqua, sorry. And then orange is really pretty as well. So, just make sure you like those colors and stuff. You can, if you want, you can add text like we'll say, um, maybe on the back we'll have a thing that says, I don't know, uh, here, one of our slogans is, oh, we can put this on the front. One of our slogans is, the day is the way. And that's just one of our slogans. Now, they do have some nice fonts to choose from. It's a little bit limited in the font library, so if, you don't like any of these that are on here, you'll need to create your own um, graphic visual of whatever saying you want on your t-shirt with the font. So if you already have branded fonts like we do, then you need to go, um, you'll need to create this as an image and you can either hire your graphics person to do that or do it yourself, whatever. For now, just for the sample, I'll show you. There we go, let's change the color. Um, they do not have our maroon, they obviously don't have our branded colors, which we would like to use. So if I were to create this for a t-shirt, what I would do first is I would create a file, an image graphic file for that instead, and it would have our branded colors, not um, their limited options, because I don't really love this limited plate of colors to choose from. So that's one drawback of doing that. Again, most print on demand or um, print to garment um, platforms have very limited clip art and graphic and text features. So, um, and Printful doesn't even have the clip art on this yet. So that's just one of the drawbacks to the editing. You can change the size of the text as well. So. Let's just for now, let's leave that there in black. And then this is the back and 
and that's awesome. Now I want to proceed to mock-ups. I like having a different color besides black, <clears throat> excuse me, besides black being the mock-up color. So just because it makes it fun. So we'll do that. Um, always, I would recommend picking this JPEG mock-up format because when you load it to your website or your Shopify or even just Printful itself, like it says here, it says that it will load quicker, the image files. So proceed to description. Now, you're going to want to add your own uh, description. Short sleeve t-shirt. Short sleeve soft try blend. And the reason I'm adding that is because the, this is keyworded. So the platform looks for stuff like that. And we can obviously add a description. Day is the way. Oops. That is one of our trademark sayings. Day is the way I create daily. Oops. Obviously, I would do a little bit more um, editing of my copy, but I'm just giving you an example. It's pretty easy to edit these. I leave all of this here because all of this is keyworded content, and it's also really good information that buyers will want to know. Printful automatically adds that. Most every print-on-demand platform adds this to, um, to, their, to their store. So they'll, you'll want to keep that, and then above it, just add what you're going to add. Now, um, something that is a little bit different about Printful compared to Redbubble and Zazzle is that Redbubble and Zazzle, you'll be able to create this t-shirt, but then on one of the stages when you choose your mock-ups, you'll be able to see this exact design on their tank tops, on their hoodies, like immediately. Whereas with Printful, you do have to go in and recreate your um, design on all the other different types of products. So that is one small drawback. So I would need to create a new product listing for everything as opposed to having this purple um, grape color sun on multiple types of products. So I don't totally love that. But again, it is fairly simple to edit. So that's cool. And I also recommend if you're doing this to build a brand versus just to like make money and get tons of designs out there, there's no right or wrong way in doing that. But if you're building a brand, I would highly recommend creating and designing either your own designs or concepts for your own designs that you then outsource or hire out a graphic designer or um, commission an artist to create for you. Because again like you like you saw a minute ago it is a clunky and non-sophisticated design program and platform so now proceed to pricing they are going to have their automatic markups and they're going to show you your printful price so this is your wholesale price and uh, compared to the size they're going to have their retail price and your profit margin already listed here so for now i'm just this looks fine i'm going to keep it like this say and it is syncing to the storefront i will have this shirt linked on the article so you'll be able to see the product listing and everything we have our printful linked to our shopify platform and it was pretty easy to connect the two um and i'm not sure about the ease of integration with other things like WordPress or any other e-com platform that you're using. But I would imagine because the Shopify integration was pretty easy, I would imagine it's similar steps with all the other integrations. You will eventually have to insert your payment information. I'm not going to do that on camera, but, um, or on recording here, but that is something you'll need to do to actually start collecting money on this platform. So there's our product listing. Awesome. It has 36 variants, which is great. It's just the various colors of the shirt, obviously. So that's awesome. You can see them listed. Um, 
my mistake was obviously picking black font for this black shirt. That's obviously you're going to do better than, than that. But I was just creating an example. Okay. So one other thing I want to cover before the end of this video, now that you've gotten to sort of see the um, editing feature is their help and support system is awesome. They do have a great, they're going to walk you through setting and optimizing your storefront, which is awesome. So you can watch their two minute video. I definitely recommend always, no matter what platform you're signing, signing up for, definitely go through their basic tutorials. It will save a lot of headache and frustration because that's why they set them up. They set them up so that you can get started in a simple way. And Printful does have a great learning center or they call it resources. So I'll show you where that is. Unfortunately, they do not have it in this section which would actually be very helpful if they have space to just add resources if they scoot all this over, because this is dead space here. Um, so what you need to do is go to the home page, and they do make it easy to toggle between dashboard and home page. But then you go to resources here, and they'll teach you the types of file transparencies you need for printing. They'll give you all their information on fabrics, sublimation facts. So sublimation is heat printing, which is cool. It's a, it's not um, screen printing with the inks. It's they're using a heat. It's a different kind of printing. It's really cool. Um, they'll have stuff about printing, embroidery files. They'll have their various services listed here. So you can learn about what, what you're doing, the manufacturing, the fulfillment aspect. Definitely learn about the fulfillment so you know your role in what happens between your designing and then your customer getting their order. So that's good to know. Obviously, their terms of services, <laughs> obviously a good idea to read all these or at least familiarize yourself. Marketing tools, integrations, they have great tutorials and then they have an iOS app, which is new. I haven't messed with it. I don't like creating this stuff on my phone. It seems really complicated and small screen. I enjoy using my laptop. But for those of you who love doing everything on your phone, there's their phone app tutorial. So that's great. Um, they have a mock-up generator so you can test and play around with designs and stuff before creating. I don't like using that because when I use the mock-up generator, I don't get to create the product. So what if I like the mock-up and then just want it to, and then I just want to sell it. So for me, that's, I, I just don't use that. But if you want to play around with their editing stuff before creating an account, that might be why you use it. They have a great chat support. It's open 24 seven. They're very friendly. You can email them. I have not um, done their call support, but I assume because all the rest of their customer service is pretty awesome that their call support would be too. Um, again, they do have quite a bit of information. I think the biggest drawback on Printful is, again, what I said, every time you need to create a new product, you have to do a new listing starting from scratch. And that can be a drawback. If you want to create tons and tons and tons of listings, it is simpler on Zazzle and Redbubble to just check, like, I want this as a mug. I want this as a hoodie. I want this as leggings. I want this as a blanket or a pillow or a hat. It's easy to just go down and edit all the various product variants. Whereas with Printful, you can only edit the color or size variant or price variant on one type of product. So to make a mug, you would have to go make the entire design all over again. So that's just something to consider. I still, we still like using Printful. They have great fabrics. Oh, our favorite fabric is the Bella Plus Canvas Company. They have a great tri-blended fabric. It's polyester, cotton, and one other, um, one other fabric. And it's just really comfortable. They have a nice racerback tank top for women. They have tank tops for men. They have the t-shirts for men and women. And that's just our favorite standard to use across all of the print on demand. And I think that's it. So that's it on Printful. And I'll be back with other videos on other platforms.